Brian Gray. And I'm John Goodhue with APO Financial. And we're here to talk to you today about the bond market. Uh, a, lot, a lot of talk about that right now. And potentially an alternative to bonds uh, over the next several years. Absolutely. And most people don't realize that we've been in a rising interest rate environment for about a year and a half now. This is We're filming this in May of 2018. And what we found by doing some research and looking at things, the interest rate cycles typically work on a longer period of time, 25, 30 years. So from the 80s to more recently in 2016, we've seen a decrease in, in bond values as far as interest rates, which increase the value of bonds. From the late 50s all the way up to the 80s, we saw rising interest rates would put pressure on bonds and now we're starting to see that alternative cycle so we've done some research to find some alternatives for what might be an alternative to adding more bonds to your portfolio in retirement right because the problem with of course rising rates with bonds is as you if, you know buying a bond if you hold it to maturity you'll get yeah. your money back right yes. plus whatever the interest is the problem is and in retirement especially yeah. You probably are going to need to liquidate some of those bonds for your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Well, as the rates rise and as you're liquidating, you're getting less and less and less money. So it's not the best place to be right now, especially in retirement. Absolutely. And most people hold bonds within a bond mutual fund or an exchange traded fund, which also in increases different changes of interest rate fluctuations as well. That's right. So uh, we actually were fortunate enough to, we do a lot of uh, in interviews and YouTube uh, things on our channel. Uh, yeah. We were really fortunate to actually be able to interview uh, a preeminent uh, uh, Yale economist, uh, one of the more, most, mm -hmm. I guess, the, the biggest, uh, one of the biggest uh, financial experts in the world, uh, Roger Ibbotson. Yep. And one of the questions we asked Roger was based on this. Absolutely. What you know, if rising interest rates are there, are there alternative to bonds? And would a fixed indexed annuity or an indexed annuity be a good alternative to bonds? And and he went through, and you can see yeah. this on our YouTube channel. And I mm -hmm. suggest you go look at this interview. It's, it's about 17, 18 minutes. Mm -hmm. But he suggested that he agreed that fixed index annuities would be a really good alternative to a bond portfolio. Absolutely. And you got to look at the maze of all the different fixed index annuities that are out there because there's a lot of bad index annuities out right. there. And in our world, we look for some of the better index annuities that can get some pretty decent growth. And ultimately, you got to look at the ones with the lowest fees as well, so that way we can try to get the best of both worlds. Right. And it's because the reason they're a good alternative is you can't have any market losses. You can't have any losses in them because that's just the way they work. No losses with a reasonable rate of return that has generally historically been better than the rate of return in a bond portfolio. And so that's why we believe and we use them that way. That's why uh, Dr. Ibbotson uh, is now suggesting people use Absolutely. it that way. He actually wrote a 19-page uh, white paper on this subject. Yep. If you uh, contact us, uh, click below, uh, go to our channels, send us an email. Email. We're happy to give you a copy of this for free. Uh, it's a, it's a very, it's easy to read. It's yeah. not a lot of uh, high-level uh, financial gobbledygook. Although he puts the research into it, uh, but I would suggest uh, anybody should read this especially if, if any part of your portfolio is in a bond market. Absolutely. When you start looking at con conventional advice out there, most financial advisors will tell you as you get older to put more money into bonds, and in a rising interest rate cycle, that can actually be the wrong thing to do. Right. So we always caution you, just don't follow blind advice, look at the research behind it all, and it'll, it'll make some solid decisions from there. So we hope you've profited from this message, and we look forward to hearing from you. Yeah, and go see our YouTube channel if you want to hear more messages like this. Absolutely. Thanks very much. Thank you.